Maybe another set to come after this. Then we, we shall find out. I'm gonna check the other pools real quickly while we're waiting for stuff to get set up, but Lumen making that. Never mind, look at the other pools. Wait, who made it out of that's oh Robin losers against Sigma B and I. As we do have Pars and Cool Kid getting started, we'll see if the pancakes are enough to get Cool Kid through this or if Pars is gonna be able to lock in. And looks like we have some sort of tech issue. No game audio. As, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Cool Kid just gonna pause that combo and run it off. Smash should do what like but if if you've ever watched like college wrestling, mm -hmm. whenever something has to stop the game, they start with one person like like on his hands and knees and the other guy behind him, you know, Smash should do that. If you have to pause <laughs> for whatever reason, you just start mid combo. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like he gets one free, like Pikachu gets one free down throw and then you just have to go from there. It's really funny. <laughs> New ideas for Smash TOs. Take notes, scrubbed out. Where are you? Where are funny you? side bracket. <laughs> we still can't hear game. Uh, yeah. I, I hope they can. Yeah, That's same. what really matters, you know? There it is. Okay. Thank you, streamer. We can hear it. Hopefully, the players can hear it as well. It looks like they're getting a done production. Doing a great job. Thank you very I much. Love as we are I love this hours into this stream. This stage pick may seem good for Kazuya. I love it for Pikachu. I've seen yeah, the stage for Kukic likewise. so many times at Locals, yeah. and it, he loves this stage so much. He makes the most out of the fact that he has big spaces Pikachu, and especially with T-Joel. So. Yeah, you have a lot of space to run around even when it is on the FD variant, and then, whoa! You're living. Yeah, yeah, you're For fine. sure, for sure. But then when it's not on the FD variant, <laughs> you're abusing those platforms. Yeah, it's absolutely. really hard for Kazuya to do anything about those. Absolutely, and we do have a lot of Kazuya's in Chicago land, so Kuka definitely has that experience of just for in sure. the matchup as well, too, so. Yeah, and it, well, if you're inexperienced in the Kazuya matchup in the good year of 2024, then <laughs> uh, well, I, maybe I, play a different game. <laughs> you're right, I should. <laughs> <laughs> and you do. You play Rivals True. Frequently. <laughs> I love other fighting games. <laughs> but, yeah, no, already. Race Drive Online taking that first stock out already. Yeah. And you got to respect it. It just happens. Yeah. Yeah, and Kazuya is one of the few or many, depending on the person you talk to, characters in this game that kind of transcends matchups from time to time, you know? It doesn't matter how good the matchup is or how bad it is. You can sometimes just take a stock, and, you know, that's what really matters at the end of the day. Yeah, so. no, absolutely. Keep that going as well. And I will say, I will hope to see some of the cool kids, like, because he, cool kid plays a very, like, like, he, once you notice the Pikachu, you can obviously see it throughout any time he plays. And I really hope to see that here. Because we're not really seeing his trying to Pikachu tracks yet. Yeah. But maybe he's just getting a feel for the matches. Because every time he, he plays in Chicago, you know, he plays players. He always plays every week. Yeah. But he's just feeling it out. He does have a lot of things online as Pikachu I've seen before. And already four back airs to start off right. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Whoa. That was a great idea on the Thunder. Not able to connect, though. Uh, I was definitely expecting some longer cutscene Pikachu combos yes. than what we've seen so far. You'll see those. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm certain yeah. we will. Once once Cool Kid gets settled in a little bit, starts finding those combo openers a bit more consistently. Mm -hmm. Cool Kid is certainly no stranger to a long combo, but the Electric is effectively spot dodging that grab. A good extension onto that platform. Cool Kid putting on some good damage. Wait a minute, nothing too big. Yeah, I mean, 70%, that's kind of big. Especially if your Pikachu can get a good Thunder out or something like that. But your yeah, R121, sure. 121, you have that Rage on, you have a Summer Rage online from Kazuya, but you have to be careful what hits you're throwing out, because anything for Kazuya, especially in Town and City, you are going to explode. Yeah, big time. <laughs> so, good Thunder, not getting anything out of it, though. Yeah, and I will say what, what what Cool Kid has on town is this exact yes. thing that I was about to say. This is why I love is that for Cool Kid. He those, knows how to do this stuff. Those edge guards, once you get past that 80% rage, get terrifying because forward yes. air and back air start killing you. But we are at 0%, and this is where Kazi just gets one hit and win. Yeah. So you yeah. got to be careful. But so is this Cool Kid. We got those landing loops online. These are the combos you're talking about. Those these long Ooh. Pikachu combos. Yeah, so. this, is, this is what I was looking for. Yeah. Those, those 30 second combos. Wait a minute. Take 70%. Wow, that was nasty. Lasted a long time, too. That's the thing about Pikachu combos, yep. is that they, they actually don't do, like, the most damage compared to all the but other characters in this game, forever. but it's like, get me out of here, <laughs> dude. I'm sorry. I, I made a mistake. I get it. <laughs> but, yeah, Cool Kid sitting at 22%. We got electric ones, but not going to take too much out of it. Rage Drop is online, so you got to be careful. Mm. Be careful all day. Try to get it. Go for a catch chase right there, but not going to get it either. Good back here. Coming out online. Getting it once again. Once again, the ledge, uh, edge guarding right here. Whoa. Cool Kid going way off stage, kind of foregoing that advantage. Yeah, Pars doesn't I'm not used to that. <laughs> yeah. That back air's gonna kill. Yeah, Pars doesn't yep. make the best use of the advantage state that he was offered, and the back air gets it done. Good stuff there from Cool Kid to close off that stock. Yeah, no, absolutely. Very good stuff. Shaky first couple stocks, but once Cool Kid figured it out, he really got in there, taking that first stock, really, taking that last stock yeah. so cleanly as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah Cool so. Kid definitely seemed like they uh, were able to settle in a little bit, you know? 
kind of calm down, take a breath, and really start executing the way that Pikachu needs to execute. No, absolutely. Yeah, this is a very execution it's, match. So like, they both need to execute a lot. That too. I was going to say this real quick. Stages in this match are very weird because you both want FD. Yeah, really You both want FD, you both want Collis, you both yeah. want Town. But if it's whoever has the advantage state, whoever can make the most out of it is going to win it. So do you want to give your opponent, who may know the stage better than you, know, may know the matchup, to have the extra uh, advantage state in that matchup? Yeah, that makes sense. I can totally see Kazuya wanting to lean into the traditional Kazuya stage picks here, though. But you also get people that advantage, of course, the, like, the weighing of the scales right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's like, do you want to worry about like constant Tijol pressure yes. or not being able to touch Pika on platforms? Yes, absolutely. It's, you kind of have to pick your poison in this matchup. One of the very few where I will essentially, uh, occasionally feel bad for Kazuya. Yeah. Occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. The once the once in a year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Once in a blue moon or whatever. Good I, ice cream I, was flavor. This, I just said this FD, I make makes sense for Kazia, but you're also giving Pikachu the ability to just a T jolt game. Yeah. And stuff like that. So. Yeah. Because the T jolts are gonna be very difficult to Yeah. Whoa, Doesn't wait matter a you can't T jolt champ if you're all stage through those lasers taking 80 82 percent already offline. That's kinda great starting off the game right here. Yeah, really good stuff from Pars. But Cool Kid with another super solid combo. He is very consistent with these, not able to get the up air bridges though. Yeah, no, keeping it going. The electric online, not gonna get the S Master, even with the air dodge in. Oh, super wait risky. a minute. Do it. You're really trying to just live onto this first stop right here. Yeah, we are swinging. Both of these players swinging for the fences right now. Good nice back air. He's trying to get rid of Rage Drive so quickly right now. Yeah, cool not wanting one doing it. Cool Kid is very. Uh, efficient with his back airs. Yes. I have like yet to see him miss a back air. Very yeah. well placed, very consistent. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. Like I said, he always knows why it's like in the perfect scenario. Oh, oh look God, at the no grab, there. yeah. That could have been huge. And that's a nice punish there for Par, is able to get off stage. Hasn't been able to find the most off of that, though. You can't catch those options too consistently if you're Pars. It's really hard to pin Pikachu down. So when you can't pin him down, send him up to the sky. Yeah, and on the up, he had a shield right there. He's taking that first dog, but you hit. But Kuka did work super hard to get Kazi at 160, so a lot of these aerials at the ledger here will just kill. And the down throw the thunder is going to kill as well. Whoa, that thunder hitbox is massive. Yes. So, but we're both at 0% starting off the stage right now. And here yeah. comes the lightning loops, part of a balanced breakfast right now. Part of a going. balanced breakfast. That's a good one. I like that one. A couple of up tilts. The breakfast gets hardier. Pars is able to break out with an up air, though. Yeah. Pretty slept down. Well, not anymore. I think that Kazi up air is pretty pretty well understood to be a solid move. Good down smash, taking 70% on deck right now. We're back to just sitting at the center stage. Oof. But the electric could spell the device not falling out of it, though. But it does Damn. not matter. He fall out. Still taking about another 40% on deck right now. Ooh, that's a lot of shield damage. Cool kid is going to be fine with that, though. Shield damage is a small price to pay for having Kazuya off stage as Pikachu, but an electric into an uppie is going to get it done for par. That's two uppies for two socks. Can we go for three for three? Yeah, true. We we certainly could. That seems to be the most could consistent the way to pot? take these stocks. <laughs> okay, ding, ding, ding. Let's go gambling. <laughs> uppie, uppie, uppie. I can't stop winning. <laughs> Pars makes it back on stage. Side B not going to connect. I love the option, though. Just trying to burst forward. Yeah, I don't love it that much, actually. I changed my mind. Try forward air not going to connect. Yeah, try to go for an edge guard right there. Not going to get it. We're going for the back air, and that's going to kill right there. Nice. And we're back. Once again, back to about 0%. Last stock right here in FD, and it's working way more for uh, pars. Is it pars? Pez? Whatever it is? Yeah, pars. Not pars? Okay. I can't tell if that's an R and A. Oh, yeah. Confused. Yeah, it's an R. But, I got you. Yeah, no, Pars really doing Ooh. well, making make most of the stage right here. But Cool Kid, not afraid to go off stage, even yeah. risking that advantage stage, just really going out for any option he can really throw out. Yeah, because that's the thing. Pars hasn't really been making the most of that yes. advantage stage. So Cool Kid is willing to forego that stage pressure if it allows a, you know, 25% yes. chance that a ledge guard is going to just take the stock right then and there. Or even extra percent or anything in that situation as well. Yes. Like, he knows the risk. He's willing to go for the risk for the reward. Yeah, so. now off stage, the F smash, the very bottom hitbox of it is going to catch Pars in the head as Cool Kid takes a 2-0 lead in the set. Pars has his work cut out for him. Yeah, no, absolutely. And like I said earlier, you're, you have those Kazuya stages for you, but Pikachu loves those stages as much as you do. You're yeah. even more. It's hard. So it's, it's hard. really hard to think about like where you want to go, what you want to ban, what you really want to do, or maybe change your game plan as all. Yeah, and the thing is, I think I like that stage pick. Yeah. I think it has to just be a mental change mm -hmm. because the physical stage is not going to get better because on the oh, stage with platforms, you still have to worry about T-Jolts, but now you just have to worry about Pikachu can run away to platforms wherever, whenever he chooses. So I do like the flat stage. It's just a matter of being able to get 
make the most out of stage positioning. That's the one thing that yes. I haven't seen Pars doing is when Cool Kid's in the corner, you need to be able to get bigger extensions off of that. Absolutely. Pars has the ideas of like getting the stage, kicking the sanction but we're not seeing the most of really using it, that causing advantage. Like Cloud! Hello. For Gore Kazi, it's not Cloud. Okay, that's interesting. Another losing matchup, unfortunately. <laughs> like, <laughs> it might be better, though. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely see it being better, and I could also see it being uh, easier to make something yes. volatile happen. You know, it's a lot easier for Cloud to hit this little dude off the ground than yeah, it is for Kazi to swing at him. So. You have big sword, kill the red. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't mind that. I can't say I've seen the Pars Cloud, though. So I'm, I didn't even know he had one. I'm interested to see what happens here. Trade stocks? No. A real Cloud main trade stocks right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was losing. It would have been a win for him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Down 20%, we're trading. I'm up being. Yeah, no. Keeping that going as well right now, honestly. Also, resetting back to PS2, not running about the new stage, something like that. Very good choice for the Cloud right here. And mm. limit, limit Cross Slash? It's going to be so useful this matchup because he will just kill Pichu so early with it as well. I'm going to say it. This Cloud's legit. Yeah. This Cloud's looking pretty good. I have yet to see it, but it's doing much better than I expected some some random down 2-0 Cloud to do. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, no, absolutely. That drag down off stage oh, is such a good idea for, for Cool that. Kid. And it works out. That's a great ledge guard. And yeah, the Thunder coming out, getting hit by the stage, missing the stage, and it's in the tech as well. And you're going to die for that little, but once again, these lightning oh. moves back online, but getting the tech falling out of it. Yeah, Pars honestly getting out of harm's way for not taking 70 there, but you made one one mistake yet again, and now you're up to 51. Again, not too bad comparatively. Yes. No, but down absolutely. by quite a bit, and Cool Kid, Cool Kid 85 almost has 85% of extra credit on the stock. Yeah, hey, that'd be cool to see. <laughs> it would be cool, kid. <laughs> Anyways, the down air not going to connect. You got the limit out. That could be Dude, big at any given moment. That's something I always say about Cool Kid. His quick attacks are so good. Yeah, he doesn't use them too often, but he, doesn't he plays use too them often, well. But he uses them so like in it, like so aggressively that just like yeah. it always works out for him. So you don't expect it from the Pikachu. You always expect him to go in and out, but he fully goes in and even hits you through it as well. Yeah, it's so good to see such a good like mix up. So yeah, I think a lot of Pikachu's will just like like use the hell out of that move and just use it in any, in any scenario and get punished for it, but I have not been able to uh, spot any type of pattern or rhyme or reason to when Cool Kid uses them, which is really good. Yeah, no, absolutely. But at 141 in that forward air, we'll take it, and now you're down to full stock. Especially against Pikachu, a character that can just run away and win. Yeah, that's tough. Pikachu can kind of choose at any moment to be like a top three camping character in yes. the game. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Pikachu can go from a nasty rushdown character to one of the best camping characters to one of the best edgeguarding characters. You can change the play style to whatever you yeah, see. Yeah, that's what I mean. Pikachu an all-rounder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But exactly. Limits the, online. Real, the real Mario of yes. Smash Bros. Limits online. This could be a big factor for Pars right here to really get something going in our Or Limit might just get timed out. Yeah, not able to time it all the way out. Off stage, it is going to be a threat. A limit cross yeah, off stage could have been great, but the limit is going to run out, and things get worse and worse for Pars by the moment. It's just a matter at this point of how does Cool Kid want to close it out. You know, absolutely. And you're at it. You have him at 124. You, anything can really just kill right now, especially like all these drag downs, all these confirms to get you. So mm. you're saying it. You're saying company is 60% of your second stock. You really have nothing to lose by just throwing out a risky option. Yeah, you can just send him. But I almost wonder if uh, Cool Kid is. Fishing for us, yeah. some a little, a little yeah. fancy. He he won't throw us me off, just knowing him. But he, it's definitely a choice to do. So, but that 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 just yeah. killed. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good dash tag. He's gonna take it off. Neither of us even reacted. We didn't even expect it. I didn't realize the hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, likewise. I saw Claude disappear. I'm like, likewise. oh wait, he died. <laughs> I'm adjusting my headset. I'm like, yeah, they'll cover this for a moment. <laughs> and the game just ends. Yeah, but that's a three zero for Cool Kid. Moving on to top thirty two. Doing Good very stuff. well and saying parse to losers to fight against Quill in losers. So interesting, interesting. That sounds tough. Kazuya Min Min sounds like an ugly matchup.